Hey, Mike Phillips down here, 3D Garage. This is a 1940 Ford Coupe. It's a street rod, belongs to a good friend of mine. I don't think it's been properly clayed and polished, maybe in a decade. And uh, Mike wanted to get it ceramic coated, so I, I used the nano skin, the uh, 3D nano pad on it with a Flex uh, Sea Beast. Then I put it through a really a thorough paint correction process. I compounded every square inch using the 3D 510 premium rubbing compound. And then I uh, polished it using the 3D 520 finishing polish. Then I put the 3D ceramic coating on. And God, it just looks like uh, liquid glass. I mean, this is like a copper penny color. It's a metallic. And all I know is sometimes when you're doing this kind of work, it, you, you get so many hours into the paint correction process and, um, you know, start to wonder, gosh, is it worth it? And then you put the coating on and look at the results. And then you go, yeah, it was worth it. I also used a 3D beat it up on the, on the rims the baby moons in the center cat or the uh, beauty rings there. I actually put the beaded up on the tires. I cleaned them with the LVP cleaner. And this guy doesn't like tire dressings, especially anything shiny. So I just wanted to clean them up, but I thought, what the hell while I'm down here. So I wiped them down, beat it up, seemed to make them look, you know, better, better than nothing. I like how they came out. But anyway, she's ready to go home. And uh, we got some setup to do for a big class here this weekend. Here's one of the cars my students will be training on. It's a 33 Ford. And I, it looks good from here, but take my word for it. It's actually all scratched up. And the pinstriping that's on there presents a real challenge. But instead of, um, you know, not using the car for the class, I use it for a teaching moment and I teach everybody how to work around pinstripes. Anyway, 1940 Ford. 3D ceramic coating, stick a fork in this one, it's done, kick it out the door.